Hi everyone, in this uh, small demo, I'll show you how you can run your experiments remotely. Uh, so not on a local machine, but on some uh, more powerful virtual machine in the cloud. But at the same time, observe how your uh, training progresses in real time in studio. So uh, first thing that you would have to set up is uh, the CI-CD workflow that integrates with CML. So here are the uh, two most interesting parts here is I'm using CML to provision uh, a runner. Uh, so this one runs in AWS. Uh, this is a G5 to X large instance that has a GPU on board. And after that, I'm just installing my dependencies, uh, running, uh, pulling my data and running the pipeline. And uh, I also configured this uh, workload with a studio token so that uh, my pipeline can report metrics to Studio. And uh, the pipeline itself is uh, fairly simple. We can see it's stack here. And the idea is uh, if we, we look at this, this project in Studio, we can pick any commit, uh, click our run, find our run experiment uh, button. And then here we can pick the version of the data set that we want to try out. So I have a small data set that's 19 megabytes. That's the initial version. And I have the uh, data set that's twice as large. So let's say I want to run the experiment on a larger data set, but I also want to run it for more epochs, let's say 20. So uh, I'm going to say uh, try larger data set for 20 epochs. And I'm gonna create a new branch. Uh, I'm gonna just simply name it my experiment. And I'm committing my changes to Git through Studio. So uh, Studio just created a commit. If we go to our repository, we'll be able to see it here. Uh, if we go to our branches, so my experiment branch is here. And because we committed our changes to Git, that triggered that workflow run. So this is my commit message, right? That's running on my branch. And what this workflow run is doing right now, it's deploying a cloud runner, that machine that I mentioned earlier uh, in AWS that has a GPU on it. So this one's being provisioned. When that's done, we're going to move on to this second stage of actually running our pipeline. Okay, now that our uh, runner is provisioned, uh, the second job is uh, running our training, so we're on the first epoch right now. But if we return back to Studio and we can compare uh, the original commit that we started with and its metrics and the live one, so we can go to plots and we can see kind of how our metric changes in real time. Remember, here we picked a larger data set and we're training for more epochs. So we'll actually be able to go beyond uh, eight epochs here and see what metrics we'll be able to achieve. So we can kind of see both the logs of the training in uh, GitHub Actions and uh, metrics in Studio. If at some point we notice that our training uh, starts to diverge, maybe our metric either plateaus or starts to go down, maybe the loss function is no longer uh, uh, decreasing in value, uh, then we can simply uh, go to uh, here and then cancel workflow. This will terminate uh, the execution of DVC pipeline, but as well, CML will take care of deprovisioning the machine in the cloud for you automatically, so you won't have uh, won't incur unnecessary costs. So. That's pretty much it. Uh, the training's still going. Uh, and I think we trained it for 20 epochs. So we should be done. Now this uh, CICD run uh, kind of does some post-run cleanup. And that's everything. So now we can see both the, our life experiment and the experiment that we executed and committed to Git before. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this product update video, please like and subscribe. Thanks, Stevie. And feel free to post comments and questions below.
On our YouTube channel, we share videos on product updates, tutorials, and how members of our community use our tools as they solve problems in their domains spanning a wide variety of fields in the machine learning and AI space. Don't miss out on any of it. See the description below to find links in the docs for our tools. They are an excellent resource for getting started. Also visit our blog where you can find tutorials on our tools as well as product and company news. Join our Discord server to get support, help others grappling with the same issues as you, connect with other like-minded folks, and discuss our tools or other topics in the MLOps space. It's a great way to learn and get to know others worldwide who share your interests. We also have a job channel where you can find relevant job opportunities in the space. Finally, if you're really serious about taking your MLOB skills to the next level, we offer a free online course that is designed to help you understand the iterative philosophy and achieve your MLOB school. Our mission at Iterative is to deliver the best developer experience for machine learning teams by developing an ecosystem of open modular ML tools. Thanks for making it to the end. Devi and I will see you in the next video.